Good evening, everyone. This is Sifu Godsey. This is Godfist here. Um, just wanted to share some thoughts that I had about just some different things in the martial arts, kung fu world. Share some thoughts about big dojos, the business. As, at the, as, as you can tell, when you follow me on Instagram or YouTube, I'm still building my business. And the main thing I want to talk to you about today is the why martial, Why do we build martial arts businesses? Why do we try to amass schools? Why do we have partners? Things of that nature. So a lot of martial arts, like traditional martial arts, like Kung Fu, uh, Karate, things of that nature, we have things that are in the Karate called Kata. We have a lot of uh, prearranged movements and practices. And you know, stance training, we have a lot of different things that can be done on your own. And they exist so that you can practice and develop independently a lot of great skills. The reality is, is that all of those skills are what we would call your basic training. When you master your basics, you'll have a pretty high level of basic skills, and that's great. It's great. You want to have those. Um, but what's the importance of having partners is that that's the only way to get to more advanced skills. You need somebody to work with. Why I believe it's important for an expert of their basics, a person has really reached what would be called a black belt or a low-level black belt or instructor level, is why it's important for them to amass a successful school, to get students of a variety of ages, a variety of uh, sizes, and, um, just a variety of students, a variety of mentalities and things of that nature, is that you need the variety in terms of partners to work with. This is going to take your skills to the next level. This is the understanding is going to grow significantly. You're going to go from basic to expert to advanced. In business, they ask you to determine your why. I personally believe in martial arts, we all have to, we all pretty much have the same why, and we're all going to have the same why as practitioners, and that is, well, we're not done training, we're not done learning, we're not done growing. And the best why to amass a school with a variety of students and skill levels is not for you to stand in front of the room and call out commands and feel your dominance, feel your leadership, feel whatever kind of hierarchy you want to feel, put your thumbs in your belt. You amass the school to be honest with your students, to keep your students full of your skill, to interact and to train with them, to guide and to grow yourself because it's only through the interaction with the students, the skill of transmitting what, you're in, what you already do. You gain a deeper understanding of it, explaining it. Also, you're creating training partners. You're creating people, you're bringing people in that are going to help you grow in certain skills that you just can't do by yourself. Yes, you can buy dummies, build apparatuses and so forth, but I didn't go to school for engineering, so I ain't building all that. Um, and I don't know too many engineers and a lot of this stuff's expensive wooden dummies like, two, like a couple thousand dollars but my students my live partners uh, they've always been a great asset and yeah I gotta explain it I gotta teach them what I need them to do but that's what they're here to learn so it works right I get a variety of students, I get the experience of really challenging my understanding. I also get training partners who are going to push me so that I can push them, you know. So I think I would also add is that teachers, instructors, you know, you don't have to agree. You can maybe you have you can have a successful business without agreeing with this why. But this is my opinion, this is what I think are the values having a successful school and why we have to do what we need to do to get those get people in the door is to really build our skill to grow the martial arts themselves right when our skill grows and our teaching grows and our understanding grows the martial arts grow and the next generation passes on clean skill that doesn't degrade over time clean skill yeah the forms might change a little bit but does the skill change I like to think that as time goes on, we, our athletes get more athletic. Our practitioners get more skilled, more capable. You know, a world champion of the past is not a world champion of today. And it's up to us to keep that skill level clean. 
keep it strong, and keep it successful. And that means our skills go into the pot with our students. We spar with our students, we sweat with our students, we sit with our students, sit as in stance sitting, for those who do stance training, like sit in your horse stance. Uh, yeah. So for anyone about to get their black belt, have gotten their black belt, thinking about opening a school, not sure about it, what's the next best thing, but I want to improve my skills, is, yeah, you can keep learning other martial arts, go to different senseis, sifus, uh, coaches, or what have you. That's a great idea. Don't stop learning, but build a school. Learning more information is wonderful, but you've got to master the information that you have. And to master the information you have, you're going to have to build your own training, training zone. You have to build your own dojo, your own gym, and you got to fill it with people. And yeah, you're going to have to use business intelligence. You're going to do some marketing. You're going to have to come up with different things to, enter, to bring people in, provide the entertainment. It's up to you to keep the skill going. And it's going to be great for you. Your skills are going to grow. But that's all. Just had to get that out of my head. Share it with the world. Well, thank you for subscribing to Godfist Training. Thank you for following Instagram, following us on YouTube. Leave a comment. Like it if you like it. Share it if you want to share it. Check out my other videos. Follow me on Facebook. I love to hear from you. Love to see you. Well, have a good evening, everybody. Stay safe out there. Peace.